So the applicant, Mr. Nicholas Musioka Musau, is charged with murder contrary to section 203, as read is section 204 of the penal code. And uh, upon taking plea today, her counsel, Mr. Mungeri, applied that he be admitted to bail pending the trial. The respondent through the office of the director of prosecutions, Mr. Okachi, sought to sought for time to conclude investigations. And here there was an indication that 21 days had previously been granted on the 14th of December 2022. And that the investigations are incomplete and that they do require a further 14 days to conclude investigations with regard to grievous harm offenses for witnesses still in hospital and that it will not be possible to obtain these witness statements while they are still recuperating and to file Consequently, the respondent filed an affidavit sworn on 10th January by Ju Ms. Judith Kawira Kinyua of Ipoa Nakuru office. And uh, she depends that when the offense took place on the 13th, two victims were fatally injured, while two others survived gunshot injuries and are undergoing treatment at the Nakuru Level 5 hospital. That if he, the accused is admitted to bail bond, there is high likelihood that he shall interfere with witnesses, bearing in mind he, the accused, is a police officer. That immediately upon the commission of the offense, the accused was attacked and assaulted by members of the public, and that for this reason, he should be denied bail for his own personal security. That the accused is a flight risk, and he is likely to desert duty and abscond owing to the gravity of the offense. Mr. Okachi, Father submitted that the applicant has a history of being vicious and wild, and if released on bond, he might thus interfere with witnesses, and that the mental assessment report dated 19th December 2023 fortifies his assertion. In making the application for the release of the applicant on bail, his advocate submitted that he has a right to bail, and that the claim that the applicant is likely to interfere with witnesses is a mere allegation, has no evidence of threatening witnesses or any conduct the accused has undertaken in this regard. Counsel for the applicant further submitted that the applicant is not a flight risk and he is a police officer currently transferred to Naivasha and he has a known place of abode. The court was therefore urged to admit the applicant to bail on reasonable terms. Through the affidavit, the respondent advanced two grounds in opposition to the application for bail, that the applicant is a flight risk and that he is likely to interfere with witnesses. There has been no expounding and that the aversion remains as such. The question to be answered in this ruling is whether the respondent has established compelling reasons warranting denial of bail to the applicant. So I've spoken about the position of the law in this regard, the Constitution, the Criminal Procedure Court, and the bail bond policy guidelines. I've cited the case of Nganga versus Republic 1985, which speaks about compelling reasons. And in a nutshell, the court is of the view that no compelling reasons, no cogent evidence has been presented in support of the government that the deprivation of the applicant's liberty shall be in his best interests and for his personal security. No evidence of a hostile environment and the risks that are faced by the accused if he is allowed to go back to the community have been provided. And no evidence has been offered on interferences with witnesses. In conclusion, I arrive at 
the premise that the respondent has not established compelling reasons as to why the applicant should not be admitted to bail, the respondent's objection of the applicant to be admitted to bail claims it is for time to conclude investigations, and in the circumstances the applicant's application for bail is of merit, however, this court shall order and direct the probation department to undertake requisite interviews and prepare a pre-bail report within seven days from today. In the upshot, this court finds this application for bail to be of merit, so the same is allowed upon the following terms and conditions. <clears throat> One is a pre-bail report be prepared and filed within the next seven days from today. Two, the accused shall be held in police custody to await the setting of bail bond terms. And finally, we will have a mention for setting bail bond terms on the 17th, January 2023. It is so ordered.